Hey family, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a video that I saw actually on Ruslan's channel. So shout out to Ruslan, I'm gonna be doing a reaction. This is absolutely disturbing guys, I can't believe it, I'm shocked by it. Ruslan said we should be outraged and I am outraged absolutely by this. And so we're gonna watch this video together and then I'm gonna stop and do a little bit of reaction, talk about my thoughts on it. But again, I know yesterday I did a video on Hellbound, today I'm doing a video on this. I want us to be understanding of the darkness that we're going against, the darkness that we're fighting in the days that we're living in. No doubt, we're living the last days. The Bible talks about darkness increasing. And so we as Christians, we need to push back and we need to be aware. Again, this is disturbing. It's not disturbing visually, but it's disturbing verbally. So um, let's watch this together and we'll just react. I did scrub through it just to make sure there wasn't any profanity, anything crazy in it. but. It is, it is, it is crazy to me. This is completely mind blowing to me. Um, it, I hope it makes you mad the way it makes me mad. So we're gonna watch this and then we'll talk about it as it goes here. I'm your host Noah Berlatsky and welcome to another edition of Prestigia Conversations. This month we're talking to Alan Walker. Alan is a, an assistant professor at Old Dominion University in the Department of Sociology and Criminal Justice. They earned their master's in social work at Columbia University and their PhD in criminal justice at John Jay College and their graduate so he's center just talking in the about all University these of New York. This guy has. Their research focuses on institutional harms, especially those created by our criminal processing, immigration, detention, and mental health care systems. So, and specifically, we're talking about Alan's book, A Long Dark Shadow, Minor Attracted Persons and Their Pursuit of Dignity. Um, so the book is a study of non-offending minor attracted persons, uh, a group that hasn't been discussed a lot either in the academy or in popular culture. So it's a difficult and important subject, and we're thrilled to have Alan with us today to talk about it. Thank you for being here. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks so much. So um, my first question was, you know, even the title of your book is pretty controversial, right? Because the subtitle is Minor Attracted Persons and Their Pursuit of Dignity. And many people are concerned that the designation of minor attracted persons or MAPS um, suggests that it's okay to be attracted to children, or they're worried that the term suggests that pedophilia is a sexual orientation, um, which they worry is a slander on LGBT people. Um, so could you talk about why you use that term in the title and throughout the book? Absolutely. And thank you so much for that question. Um, I use the term minor attracted person or MAP uh, in the title and throughout the book for multiple reasons. Um, first of all, because I think it's important to use terminology for groups that men- Hold on. I want you guys to catch you just said minor attracted persons. Minor attracted persons. You're going to hear him say this throughout the video. We're not going to watch the whole video. It's way too long and disturbing. Minor attracted persons. Maps, they call them. You're going to keep maps, maps. He's describing pedophile. That's what he's trying to say. Let me just give you the definition of pedophile because he's going to tell you, oh, the definition isn't. It is. Pedophile, according to the dictionary, a person who is sexually attracted to children. That's what a pedophile is, according to the dictionary. This guy's writing a book basically saying, don't persecute these people. Don't be mean to these people. Don't be not accepting. Don't be rejecting. I am absolutely going to reject this. I'm absolutely going to say this is wrong. This is demonic. This is bad. So he's going to keep calling them maps, minor attracted people, people attracted to minors. So it took me a while to get this. I'm going, there's no way he's calling this normal. There's no way he's saying they're maps, they're maps. Listen, y'all, if this becomes the verbiage of people that are pedophiles, if we're starting to call them maps now, I refuse to be a part of a culture that calls people maps when in reality, the dictionary calls them pedophiles. So let me just give you the groundwork before we go into this. Some of you are already gonna click off because it's disgusting to you and it's your outrage, your blood's boiling the way mine boils when I watch this and I'm outraged as well. But I just wanna show you how culture is going to start and is normalizing pedophilia, normalizing being attracted to minors. Now he's not gonna talk about, you know, it's okay to sexually abuse children, but he is gonna talk about it's okay to be attracted to them, which is just as disgusting to me. But let's just watch this and then I'm gonna give you some more thoughts on this. I'm not gonna keep pausing it every two seconds, but I do wanna give you my reaction. Members of that group want others to use for them. Um, and MAP advocacy groups like Before You Act um, have advocated for use of the term MAP. Um, they've advocated for it primarily because it's less stigmatizing than other terms like pedophile. It should be stigmatizing. It should be stigmatizing. Being attracted to children should be a stigma. It should not be normal. Uh, a lot of people, when they hear the term pedophile, they automatically assume that it means a sex offender. Uh, and that isn't true. And it leads to a lot of misconceptions about attractions toward minors. 
Um, I've definitely heard the idea that you brought up, though, that the use of the term minor attracted person suggests that it's okay to be attracted to children. Uh, but using a term that communicates who someone is attracted to it doesn't indicate anything about the morality of that attraction. Uh, from my perspective, there is no morality or immorality attached to attraction to anyone. But yes, there is. Your perspective doesn't matter. He says, from my perspective, there's no morality. It's not immoral or moral, whether who you like. It absolutely is. Jesus said, if you lust on somebody, you're immoral. Like, attraction matters. And whether you're attracted to this or that, it absolutely does speak of morality. And again, you're going to hear him. And this is what we're going to start seeing in this world is everything is just gray. And it's not that big of a deal. And tolerance. This is not about tolerance. This is about a demonic power, a demonic spirit that people are dealing with that they don't know how to handle because the church is playing games, playing Sunday morning and not delivering them and setting them free. This is what this is about. And so the world doesn't know what to call it and they're trying to label it. I will never call this normal and we should never be okay with this or think that this is normal. These, these people need freedom is what they need. We'll talk about that at the end. Because no one can control who they're attracted to at all. Um, in other words, it's not who we're attracted to that's either okay or not okay. It's our behaviors and responding to that attraction that are either okay or not okay. Uh, and I want to be extremely clear that child sexual abuse is never, ever okay. But having an attraction to minors, as long as it isn't acted on, doesn't mean that the person who has those attractions is doing something wrong. It means they need deliverance. Um, I think we have a tendency to want to categorize people with these, uh, with these attractions as um, evil, excuse me, as, as evil or morally corrupt. Um, but you when we're talking about non-offending non maps, these are people who have an attraction that they didn't ask for, uh, and one that is... Uh, Frequently, they would give anything to change, but they find that they're unable to change those attractions. Uh, and most importantly, uh, the people in my study did not act on them. Okay, so basically what he's saying is there's people that are attracted to children. They, they don't want it. They have nothing to do with it. He's absolutely right. I've dealt with and done deliverance on people that are attracted to children and they don't, no one's ever known. They haven't told anybody and they get delivered and they're no longer attracted to children. This is demonic. It's a demonic spirit. It's evil. And he's saying it's not evil. It's not wrong. It's okay. Let's be accepting. Now, I don't think, I don't think society's near. Well, I don't know because what I've been seeing lately is absolutely crazy, but I don't think we're close to accepting this type of thing. This has been done in the past. They've tried to make pedophilia legal. They've tried to add it to just LGBTQ, all that. And it's just add a P to it. I don't think we're that close in society to doing that but it doesn't surprise me that people are okay with this it doesn't surprise me that demonic demonization is normalized now this is a demonic spirit anybody listen to me call me crazy it's all right anybody that is attracted to children there's something evil going on inside of them. Now, a lot of times it's because something was done to them. They were abused as a kid. I totally get it. And he, I think he talks about that later in the video, which we won't go into the full detail. And I'm not showing the name of the video for a reason because I don't want to shine light and bring my platform to these videos and give them views and make it grow more. So that's why I've taken out the title and, and cut it on YouTube so you can't see the video, what it's called, so you can't go watch it. My point of it is this. These people need freedom. They need deliverance. The church needs to stop playing games, playing Sunday morning patty cake, and needs to start helping these people get free. I've helped people that are attracted to children get delivered. I've helped people that are, I've never told me this, get free, whether it's an animal, a child. So there's freedom available. But what I won't do is normalize it and say it's, it's okay. It's normal. It's not normal. We need freedom. I was thinking about this watching this video. At what point do we say, it's normal to want to kill people. Like you have a desire to murder because I've dealt with people that have a desire to kill people and I've done and prayed for them and God's delivered them and because the delivering power of God is available for those that are attracted. This is not to beat up on people that are attracted to children or the opposite sex or anything or the same sex or anything like that. This is to say there's freedom available. There's help available. God can set you free. God can deliver you. This is not new things. This was going on in the Bible times. God delivered people. God set people free, but we don't normalize it. Like people that want to murder, they say, I want to kill people. What, is that normal? Are we going to get and say, there's nothing wrong with them. They're just normal. As long as they don't act upon it. No, it's wrong to want to kill people. Even if you don't act on it, it's still wrong. So this is his argument he's going to try to make here is it's not wrong to like children. It's just wrong to act upon it. I got four little kids. Listen, absolutely sick. This is wrong. It's evil. And there's freedom available. I'm not demonizing the person the person's demonized so let's just call it what it is 
Um, let's just watch a little bit more here because I, I have a hard yeah, time watching this. Something else you brought up was the idea that using the term map this. could suggest that attractions to minors are a type of sexual orientation. Uh, whether or not attractions to minors are a type of sexual orientation is not a question that can be answered with my particular research. Uh, my research touched upon the labels that maps use to describe themselves, though, and a lot of them have been really conscious about their choice of language because they don't want to slander, as you put it, um, lesbian, gay, and bisexual people. So they'll use language um, to kind of distance themselves from LGB folks, which I talk about more uh, in my book and in other articles that I've written. Um, there's a lot that could be said about whether attractions to minors are in themselves a sexual orientation, and there's research that I cite in my book about that. But to me, that is not a, a sexual orientation. And more important just difference, for the record, it's which again not. is about attraction versus behavior. Uh, if we did consider maps to have their own distinct type of sexual orientation, there would still be a huge difference between maps and lesbian, gay, and bisexual people. Uh, and that difference is that maps have a sexual attraction that would result in a lot of harm if they acted on it. Whereas for LGB folks, there's no harm in having consensual relationships with one another. Um, so that's where the distinction lies. Uh, again, it's really in that difference between attraction and behavior. Um, and non-offending maps by definition do not abuse children, so their behaviors are moral. Um, okay, non-offending maps, behaviors are moral because they don't abuse children. Here's the thing, you're saying it's okay so the abuse is going to come if you create a culture that says it's okay to like children as long as you don't abuse them. And this is probably going to get demonetized because this is craziness what this guy's saying. As long as you, you can like them, you just don't do anything with them. At, at, one po at some point, the person is going to take it to the next level if you're giving them permission to like children. That's the point of it all. So it is immoral and it is evil and, and it's absolutely disgusting. Let's see what he goes and says. But they're still being subjected to this same idea that they're bad people and they've often internalized that for themselves. So that's why I've used this subtitle, Minor Attracted People and Their Pursuit of Dignity, because a lot of the people I interviewed for the book have encountered people who have told them that they're bad people or monsters just because they're attractions um, or that they feel that same way about themselves. And it's often a process for them to just stop feeling internally like they're monsters. Some of the people in my study have been going through this process for years, decades even, and some of them had just started it, maybe even just weeks before we spoke. You know, seeing my participants be so affected by the stigma against them was really hard because they were trying their best to be good people. So it was important for me to use language that was as non-stigmatizing for them as possible. There's kind of a lot of a lot to pick up there, but <laughs> so basically, guess, he's saying we wanted to create a word and this idea to make it as least uh, as least offensive towards them. So we're going to call them maps because pedophiles offensive. So we want to make sure we don't offend them. We want to make sure we don't offend people that want to like children or like children. I'm not saying that they want to. Some of them, again, they they have demons. They don't have a choice. Um, but this needs to wake up the church. This needs to make a, us angry and this needs to make us push back and say, we're not going to tolerate this. You know, Christians consist of a, a large amount of society considers themselves Christians. It's just, we have too many soft Christians that are not raising the standard and not going against these things. Again, I saw this on Ruslan's channel. I want to just tag team this and join in the conversation and say that this is wrong. I know for me, because I do a lot of deliverance, we cast out demons, we deal with people, I have more, my mindset is more that. There, I don't know any other mindset. What other, oh, it's just a mental illness. You're telling me it's an illness to like children? No, it's a demonic spirit. It's evil and you can be delivered. Does my heart break for people that are in bondage? Yes, I was in bondage to my own sin. I was no different. I was in bondage and God delivered me. And so God can deliver these people as well. And we love them. We want to see them free. I do everything I do in the name of, I love people and want to see them free. And we're not angry at the person. We're angry at the evil that the person's allowing in their life. So I think the church needs to rise up. I think the church needs to stop playing games. I was going to watch a lot more of the video. Honestly, guys, it, it just turns my stomach watching this normalizing pedophilia. Again, the definition of pedophile is someone that's sexually attracted to children. So he's like, oh, these are not pedophiles. Yes, they are. They're not maps. If you're sexually attracted to children, you're considered a pedophile. You don't have to act on it to be a pedophile. You just have to desire it to be a pedophile. According to the dictionary, unless this guy has more, I know, I know he has more degrees in a thermometer. He hasn't learned much though. Um, if he, I don't think he knows more than what the dictionary has to say about it. 
Guys, again, I'm outraged by this. I think more people need to be. I don't want, I know you're gonna all ask for the video link down below, it's 25 minutes. You don't need to watch it. There's no reason for you to watch it. There's no reason for you. There's freedom available. There's deliverance available. Oh, so what's the solution? I'll tell you right now. I'm not just talking about it. I'm walking this thing out. I have a map on my website where over 1,500 people are casting out demons all over the world right now. So if you need deliverance and freedom, you say, I don't want this anymore. I don't want to be attracted to children or same sex or any of that. You can go to my website, isaiahsaldivar.com slash deliverance, find someone in your area and they will pray for you and God will set you free. So I'm not shouting about this. I'm not just saying, oh, this is wrong. I'm giving you a solution. I'm giving you a chance to get help and to get freedom. This is not a pill I'm prescribing. This is the power of God I'm prescribing. And it's the only thing that can help you. It's the only thing that can save you. It's the only thing that can deliver you. Guys, that's all I got for you today. God's power is available. You can get free. I'm offering a solution. God's offering a solution. Deliverance is the answer. The power of God is the answer. The power of the Holy Spirit is going to set you free and deliver you. You don't need medication. You need freedom. I hope this video helped you. Bless you. If you want more info on that and you're struggling with this, I got tons of videos on my channel on deliverance, on demons, on how you, God can deliver you, and Jesus Christ can deliver you. Check out my other videos. Let me know in the comments, are you outraged? Comment down below, like the video so more people can watch this so that we can push back on this. Um, God bless you. We'll see you in the next video.